Hey everyone, this is Rochelle from As I Grow Always Learning. And I'm a newbie and I figured I'd put up a channel and whenever I found something useful, I would make a short video tutorial of things that might be useful to other newbies. So in this video, I'm going to illustrate an email service that I found called Email Octopus. And the importance of this email provider is that I hit so many obstacles trying to do affiliate marketing emails through MailChimp and Aweber. And I think this would be a useful tutorial for any newbie who's trying to do affiliate marketing. So let's get started. Now, once you're on the site, you'll see that they have a free trial and they also obviously have pricing plans. So we'll click on pricing and this will show you what these plans cost. And as you can see, they are cheaper than MailChimp and Aweber prices. Now, once you create a free account, you'll be put on this screen, the dashboard screen. And I just want to go over quickly how you would set up an email campaign inside of Email Octopus. The reason why I want to do this is I just want to illustrate the simplicity of the software, which is especially important to newbies. So let's take a moment to talk about the process of creating an email campaign inside of Email Octopus. The first step is to create an email template. And I had an email template inside of MailChimp before I started hitting all of the obstacles I hit. So I had to bring that email template over to Email Octopus and I was able to do it by importing the HTML from that template. So I used the button labeled as five on your screen to bring that HTM over. The other buttons labeled in two are your basic editing buttons you see on most Word uh, type of programs like this. Three is a link button and four is an image button so that you can add all of those different aspects to your email template. So I created a, a funny um, email template just to illustrate the point. You would name the template. I obviously used the buttons to put pimp my roof on there and I colored it purple. I was able to add a link on the number three box on your screen. I was also to, able to add an image. That's the number four box. And on number five, um, that just allows you to basically preview the email template after you make it. So if you push preview, it will allow you to see a desktop version or a mobile version. We're looking at the mobile version on the screen right now. So once you have a good email template, the second step will be to import a list of emails into Email Octopus. You could either type them in one by one or you can import a list that you have, which I had in MailChimp. So I used the list screen and as you can see, I used the import functionality to import a CSV file. For my newbies, a CSV file is just an Excel spreadsheet. You would put each email on each line and then you just save it as a CSV file. Okay, so once we have our email addresses inside of Email Octopus and we have our email template, the third and last step will be to create a campaign. So on the campaign screen, we will click Create. We have to enter some information. We have to name the campaign. We have to put the subject line of our emails in, and we have to put a from name and a from email address. Once you into all of that, you go to the next screen, and because I'm using an email template that I imported from MailChimp, I just press saved, and then it shows me which ones I have saved, which is only one. And when I click on it, it populates it into the preview window of that screen so I can see what the email will look like when I send it. 
So now everything looks good. So when we go to the next screen, it will put the email template into the editor again. And the main reason is because we're going to need to add some links in order uh, for this email to go out. One of the links, because this is the free plan we're using, will be the email octopus rewards link. And another required link is the unsubscribe from this list link that is needed. So as a newbie, obviously you're going to be hitting these obstacles because you don't know how to navigate uh, through the software yet. So no worries because Email Octopus has very easy to follow tutorials. So when you hit these snags, you're not sitting there forever trying to figure out how to get to the next step. So now once we have our links, our email is ready. We're just going to click on the email list that we have imported into Email Octopus and press send. And it's really as easy as that. So Email Octopus, as you can see, is easy to navigate, and I think that's so important for a newbie. But what's especially important is if you're going to have to use an email campaign for affiliate marketing. I tried to use MailChimp and AWeber, and I hit so many obstacles. Some of the obstacles that I hit was first of all they wanted a address to be displayed in the email and I didn't want to put my personal address in the email so that would have entailed me having to purchase a virtual address or to get a PO box and when you're first starting out you just want to keep your expenses as low as possible. Another obstacle is when I tried to send the emails through MailChimp the emails weren't allowed to go through because it had an affiliate link. So how am I going to do affiliate marketing with MailChimp? And then lastly, uh, there's a section where you have to basically give them a reason how you got your email list. And if you're doing email scraping, for instance, you're not going to have a reason or you're not going to be able to prove or show landing pages or website links that are capturing emails. So all of these were obstacles that I did not face with Email Octopus. Now the one irritating thing is that Email Octopus has to integrate with Amazon Web Services. So let me just give you just some surface information. You do and you will need to have an Amazon Web Services account. It's free, but you will have to enter credit card um, information. Um, like all Amazon programs, you have to enter a credit card. The credit card won't be used unless you exceed a certain amount of emails. But for newbies, you're not going to hit that threshold, so you have nothing to worry about. The integration is a little annoying because I didn't really know how it would work. So it took me a little bit of trial and error to figure out everything. But the one thing is Email Octopus had great online tutorials. So every time I hit a snag, I was able to get through that snag easily with the tutorials. So when you first sign up to Email Octopus, the screens will step you through the first part of the AWS integration. Remember, you have to have that AWS account it's free and then you're just going to follow the screens and do some copy and pasting of info between the two but again the tutorials are going to make it easy remember um, just be patient because the process will take about a day to get everything set up after you do the copy and pasting then you have to wait for AWS to verify your account that usually takes about 12 hours or so to get that verification email back Okay, then after you finish that, then you're going to have to have your domain verification step completed, which deals with if you have a website, which I don't think you have to have one, but I do, so I hit that obstacle. The second one is the email verification step, and then there was an error with the two locations had to match up. So these steps were fast, so when I hit them, I just read the tutorial, and then I was past it, okay? Again, you're going to hit some obstacles, but it's going to be fairly easy because the tutorials are going to just get you through it. So no worries there. So now you may be saying to yourself, I was with you, Rochelle, with this email octopus. 
But then you got to the AWS part, and I don't know if this is uh, worth the hassle. Well, let me tell you it is because when I tried to do affiliate marketing through an email campaign with MailChimp and AWeber, I hit obstacles that I couldn't overcome. I would have to spend more money to put to to pay for a PO box or a virtual address because they had to have that address in the email. I would have had to probably I wouldn't be able to use uh, Mailchimp because they don't allow affiliate links, so that would have ended that whole project right there. And then the reasoning of why I have the email list that I have. It seemed like I couldn't get over that uh, obstacle as well. So all of those obstacles are erased with email octopus. So even though the AWS integration is a little annoying, within a day you'll be up and running because the tutorials are going to step you through everything to get past everything that you may not know how to do. And the biggest part of the wait is the AWS verification process which takes about 12 hours I would say to get that verification email back. Once you've um, gotten through all of that waiting period and then the small little obstacles I told you about that take minutes to get past then you're all set and then you have the ease of the email octopus software so there's not much of a learning curve there so within a day you should be able to have an email campaign set up and sending emails for your affiliate marketing efforts. Listen, if you're a newbie like me and you want to experiment with affiliate marketing and you decide to try email marketing as one of the tools to get clicks, I think Email Octopus is a very important step in accomplishing it. First of all, it's free to start. It's an easy format. The AWS integration, even though it's a bit of a nuisance, Email Octopus has great tutorials to navigate you through this. Of course, you're going to have to be patient because you are going to hit obstacles, and the AW part takes a little time just because Amazon takes about 12 hours to do their part. But once you start it, you're going to be able to navigate through this software with ease, okay? So if you haven't started your email campaign yet and you decide in the future to do so, remember this video because I'm quite sure you're going to hit obstacles that I detailed earlier in the video. And remember that Email Octopus is a very good solution. So even though I love Email Octopus, let me just tell you what some of the negatives are. Um, just to be fair in my review of the software. Uh, because it is a simple software, so the learning curve is going to be very small, it doesn't have all the bells and the whistles that other email services may provide. But that's a good thing for us as newbies because sometimes I need things to be simple at first. Of course, the AWS integration is a hassle because... It's just an extra step, and, it's, and because you don't, you probably have never done it before, it's going to seem a little awkward. But again, the tutorials are going to step you through it, and it is necessary in order to have Email Octopus. Now, with that all said, there's a lot of obstacles we face as newbies, right? And email is important to have an online business. You got to have emails and marketers will try to sell you all of these things that will make it seem like they're making all of this money from the strategy that they're teaching. But don't be fooled. All of these successful online marketers have massive email lists. They use these email lists to market and retarget. And that's how they're making a lot of their money. And there's Thousands of tutorials talking about how to make money online and there are many systems out there for you to try and for you to buy but being a newbie myself and tired of wasting money on systems that don't work for newbies I'm just wanting to share these useful tips as I hit them uh, with you and other newbies. Um, obviously you're going to need 
more tools in the toolbox, right? You're going to need Facebook and YouTube and all these social media and all of that's great. But just remember, emails are just as important. So the last tip on this video is how does a newbie acquire an email list? And it's like when you've got your first job ever. I remember applying to jobs and they would ask me to put down experience. And I'm like, uh, how am I going to have experience if I never had a job? And that's how I feel about emails. Yes, I get the whole landing page and giving away something free. And that gets people to put their email addresses on your landing page for you to capture. Um... I don't know, but as a newbie, that seems like it'll take me 10 years to get an email address that way. So I just wanted to let all the newbies know that there is an email scraper program out there. Um, I guess if you Google email scraper, you'll probably come up with, uh, you know, 10 different emails that uh, email programs that scrape. But what I wanted to just tell you about them is that these programs allow you to scrape emails that are very targeted. Um, I'm going to put a video link in the description for this email scraper program that I use. So if you're interested, you can, uh, you know, get it from the, the guy who developed it. Uh, but the reason why the emails are targeted is because you're scraping the emails off of Facebook fan pages that are targeted and also websites that are targeted. And I believe the guy who did this uh, software, he's going to be adding... YouTube scraping. So that's going to be another targeted uh, email list that you can scrape. And once you have the emails, then you can start utilizing them for your online businesses. So again, if you think this is helpful in any way to you, please like, share, and comment on the video. Uh, put all your comments in. If you can put useful comments for other newbies to help other newbies out, that will be greatly appreciated. And give me feedback, definitely. Again, this is Rochelle from As I Grow, Always Learning. Check you guys out on the next video.